Hey guys, it's Chelsea Messenger with Picks and Parlays. Baseball season is in full swing and we've got a free pick today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell if you want notifications every time we post a new video. We've got Craig Trapp joining us to talk Pirates and Reds. Uh, the Pirates enter this one just 3-13 and 13, and they're coming off a bit of a break since their series with the Cardinals was postponed. Uh, the Reds coming off uh, what looks to be a loss to the Royals. We're taping this one as that game's still going on, but the pitching matchup is going to be Anthony DeSclafani for the Reds and Trevor Williams for the Pirates. Uh, Craig, uh, first thoughts on this one as the Reds are big favorites at minus 185. Well, you you have to, I, you know, after the Marlins had that break, they came back and had some uh, nice wins as underdogs. So did the Orioles when they came off their break. So I think you, you have to give a little you know, shot for the Pirates here at that ridiculous price. I mean, Reds are not, are, are the better team, clearly, and at home, but and, and I have the starting pitching edge, a slight starting pitching edge. But when you look at these two teams, they're not that far off, even though the, the wins and losses are right now on paper, as far as players and who's going to be playing in this game. So to me, I think you have to give a shot for the underdog, but I'm going to be looking at the total in this one. Right. I think I'm on the same page with you on this one because uh, the Pirates have a terrible record, but they have five losses by just one run. So they've been contending in a lot of these ball games, and especially if you were thinking about getting some value and taking the Reds uh, on the run line, that might not be the smartest play on every night, especially with this Reds team that you don't really know what to expect night to night when it comes to their bullpen. Uh, that being said, Anthony DeSclafani has a, a yet to allow run this season. Two starts, one walk, eight strikeouts. So he's been really good. Uh, Trevor Williams, on the other hand, has had uh, two rough ones, but a really good bounce back one. Seven innings, just one run uh, against a really good Twins team. So uh, so with the total, where are you leaning? Oh, for the game, I'm, I know you're going to be looking at the side on uh, the first five total. I'm looking at the game, and I'm going to be going over. I like. I think both starters probably go four or five innings. Probably keep this into the, the you know two 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 one type game. But man, this Reds bullpen has been overworked. And even though the the uh, Pirates are ha had that rest thanks to the Cardinals in the COVID nineteen outbreak with the Cardinals, this bullpen's been worked over. And I think this one screams over. So I'm going to take the over nine runs. Of course, Great American Ballpark, when it gets hot and humid in July and August here, you see the balls always flying out. I think this one goes over nine runs. And I think it's a lot onto those, the relief, both the relief staffs, I think, get used up tonight and get hammered. Right. And that's why I'm going first five in this one. Uh, taking the first five under to hit uh, under five runs at minus 115, because I do like both these starting pitchers. Anthony DeSclafani has been injured a lot. And I I think that's why a lot of people haven't heard of him, but he does have really good stuff, and he's been really good this season so far. Trevor Williams, I like where he's at. I think you get a little bit more value. Obviously, five's not a, you know, a tiny number, but at least it's not four and a half. Uh, and he's coming off a good one against a, a hot-hitting Twins team. So I do like the first five under in this one to hit and that's been a nice play for me uh as of late uh reds also they're five and one versus lefties and three and eight against righties and trevor williams is a righty so i think this reds uh lineup might be a little bit slow to start off williams so yeah that's my play yeah i i, I like that play like a d skill of funny boy that one's a tough one chelsea <laughs> But he has been very good. And, you know, I'm located here in Cincinnati. He's one of those guys that a couple of years ago, a lot, there was the hope that he would end up developing into the second or third starter. And I still think, like you said, injuries have really held him back. But I still think that, that potential is there. And we're starting to see that this year. Both of his two starts were really good, including I thought he was dominant in his last uh, out. Well, the Red starters in general have been all really good, with the exception of uh, Castillo, who's been supposed to be their ace. So it's been the bullpen. It's been the issue. So that's why I'm going first five under. All right. I like it when Chelsea. All right. That's going to do it for Pirates Reds on Picks and Parlays. Uh, thanks, Craig, for joining us.